All right, so I wanna show you how to tie one of my favorite line-to-line -line knots. It is the John Collins knot, also known as the RP knot, Royal Polaris knot. But if you look at it, it's really just a simplified version of the Alberto knot. To get started, let's imagine this is your leader line. It could be mono or fluoro, just fold it over itself so that it has this little loop. Now take your braid line, which I'm gonna represent by this orange power cord, and you're gonna to wanna to go straight down through. Now I'm gonna give myself quite a bit just because this is paracord and it's hard to wrap. But once you put it all the way through this hole, you wanna take your index finger and your thumb and pinch it right here. Now you have control. Now wrap your braid around your leader line five times. One, two, five. So it should look like that. Now take your index finger and your thumb on this side with the other hand and pinch. Now you can let go of this side. Now go over the gaps all the way back up five times. Two, three, four, five. In this area, you can go either drop the braid top down or go through the back. It's uh, really your choice. A lot of people like to go the same direction that the line came in. So once you have it here, this is where you want to slowly start to pull all the tag ends and, and the main line and the leader lines, all four of them. And then when you get it down, cinch down, not all the way, is when you moisten with liquid, saliva, soapy water, water. And then in one motion, I like to take my leader line and take my braid, main line, leave the tag ends by themselves, and then just pull down tight in one consistent motion. That right there will be a very strong, slim knot. Um, you don't really need to pull the tag ends. I like to just, you know, make sure that it's really good, nice and cinched down. Some guys like to kind of, at 20% power, just go like this to make sure there's no little gaps. But then once you have there, you take your scissors or knife and you cut off the tag ends. Uh, on the braided side, I leave it a little longer, but you can cut the mono or floral side quite short. Now let's do it with real braid and mono. All right, take your leader line, fold it over itself, just like this, so you have a loop. Now, Take your braid and drop it right down through that loop. And I like to give myself quite a bit to work with. So then you pinch right here. So now you have your, your leader, you have your tag end, and you have your braid. So let's do that. Wrap it one, two, three, Four. And five. So as you can see, there's the loops. Now I pinch with this hand right here. And I can let go of the other. And now you just want to go over almost like a uh, double helix. So two, three. And then you can go in either way. Let's go out through the bottom, just like this. So from here, you just slowly pull all of it nicely. So when you get it to here, you're gonna want to moisten, just like that. So then I let go of the tag ends and I give it a nice pop. Right there is a very tiny knot and it's super strong. I love this because the braid really just cinches down right over. You can't even see the monofilament or your leader line. If you have clippers, you know, you can get this really tight and close. Just 
just like that. Right there. And for braid, I like to leave it a little bit extra. There you go. And there we have it. This isn't going anywhere. This is very strong. This will go through guides really nice. It won't get hung up. All right, so let's do a quick rundown of the advantages and disadvantages of this knot. I would say the advantages are it's quick to tie. And if the bite's hot and you need to re put a, a new leader on it, this is going to be the knot for you because you could do it relatively fast. It's also very small, so it can go through the guides really nice. And I think it's pretty strong. I think it's not going to be as strong, so it's going to disadvantages. I don't think it'll be as strong as an FG knot. Definitely seen tests online where it shows that the FG is the strongest. So if you have the time, definitely use the FG. It's also a little bit thinner. The FG is a little bit thinner. So if you have the time and you want to perfect that knot, go ahead. Uh, this is just my default because usually I don't need the strength of an FG and I, this one hasn't let me down yet. Can you use this with mono or fluoro? Yes, you can use it with both. Can the mono be thicker or the fluoro be thicker than your braided line? Yes, this actually is a good knot for thicker leader than mainline. A lot of people say, well, it's not the John Collins knot or it's not the RP knot, it's just the Alberto knot. The Alberto knot from what I've seen in diagrams is seven turns, this one is only five. Same concept, it's just a name. Uh, you know, I like I learned it from watching videos of John Collins, so I like to call it the RP knot, but it is an Alberto variant or mod, like a less turned Alberto. Um, can you go in either direction at that final step of this knot? I've tried both, it seems to work. I say yes, whatever you wanna do, it works. What other alternatives can you do other than this knot? Well, if you want another knot and you're really good at uni to uni, you can use the double uni, the line to line uni version. If you want to master the FG, you can use the FG. You, can, you could even use a triple surgeon's knot if you'd like, it's gonna be a little bit bulkier. So in summary, if you need a small knot that's strong and can go through guides and super quick to tie, this RP, Alberto, whatever you want to call a knot is the one for you. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more. Let's make this a conversation. So leave me some comments down below. Do you like this knot? Do you not like this knot? Has it failed you? I have yet to see it fail on me, so hopefully it never fails on you. I hope you can catch some fish. Good luck out there. And if you're interested in more videos, check out these two. See you on the next one.